YouTube, Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Friday, May 31, 2024, PCE Day coming out in a little bit. That'll happen while I'm doing this recording and we'll see what it does to metals. Let's start off with the price of gold. Price of gold down 40 cents at 2,343.20. Price of silver up, 30, up uh, 14 cents at 31.25. But there was a major uh, drop last night in the aftermarket. Uh, it was in the high uh, 30s, okay, um, 30.80, 30.70, something like that. Looked like we could get a retest of the, uh, the 30 boundary, and it did not happen. It bounced off that and went up and then gained this morning. We'll see if that continues. Uh, GSR is uh, right about 75. We've got the 10-year yield at 4.554 unchanged and the dollar index at 104.64 uh, down uh, 7 basis points. Okay, copper prices. What's happening with copper? Copper, the canary in the gold mine, as I always say. Uh, let's see, copper is down 2.5 cents at 4.63, but the drop looks like it's slowing down. Maybe commodities will head back up here and we will have a tailwind for silver. We have got the Fear Greed Index at 45 at neutral, and Dow futures down 26, S&P futures down 5, NASDAQ futures down 45.75. I don't know. It looks like we could bounce today. All right, let's uh, keep going here. Uh, again, on the economic calendar at uh, um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we've got PCE. A light PCE could be potentially um, could be good for metals, and a strong PCE could mean higher for longer or much higher for much longer, which is what the market is fearing here. So uh, that, that'll be important this morning, and uh, really anything can happen. We had the, uh, the fear move last night down into, uh, you know, 30 point something. And uh, this morning we're having more euphoria that uh, perhaps that PCE number will be lighter. Uh, we'll find out in just a few minutes. But until we do, let's see what's going on in the deals. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, we have got... Uh, um, by the way, if you're brand new, check out the website, bestsilvergolddeals.com. That's where we update these, uh, the best prices on the internet uh, every day before 6 a.m. Pacific. And uh, also do these videos uh, most every day. You can like uh, and subscribe and also subscribe to the website. Uh, before I move on too much further, the Gold Eagle is uh, out at Costco, or still out. Looks like it was up uh, most of the day yesterday, and now up again today. 2420 is what they're asking for that, and then you take your 4% off to get a Gold Eagle around spot if you haven't uh, already earned your $1,000 maximum of Costco rebates. Best 110th Gold Eagle this morning at Bold Precious Metals, 265.48. And we will move through these. Let's do the quarter ounce gold eagle. Best quarter ounce at bold, 638.76. All right, you know the pandas are always cheaper. Quarter ounce panda, 611.37. <clears throat> and best one ounce gold eagle over at Pinehurst, 2,395.96. But uh, again, the Costco deal is a better deal. <clears throat> Best Buffalo at Bullion Exchanges, 2,423.49. When those come out at Costco, they're typically about 2,440, and then take your 4% off. Again, we'll try to find, we'll try to beat all these prices on eBay uh, using our high rebate credit cards. We've got a little bit of news there on the credit cards. Best one ounce maple at Bullion Exchanges, 2,381.99. Good price there. And uh, what is the Krugerrand? Still very cheap at 2,355.60 at bullion.com. There is a discount code on my website if you want to save $10 from our friends at bullion.com. Uh, let's go through, oh, the other good deal continues. I guess people aren't buying these. Uh, the uh, random 20 franc uh, gold coins, 439.84 uh, for, what are the specs on that? 0.1867, a little less than a 0.2 ounce of gold. 
All right, and uh, I'm going to skip through the liberties. Uh, best platinum bar this morning is uh, 1,126, 35 at SD bullion. And if we look at what's going on with platinum, 10. Uh, 1,037 this morning, up 11, and it has been uh, threatening to retest that 1,000 level. I don't know if we'll get there. Uh, PCE data is imminent. All right, let's go back to the deals. Uh, one silver eagle at spot at bullion exchanges. Remainder of the tube uh, cheap at bullion exchanges. But if you want a tube of 20, best overall price anywhere except for eBay is uh, 36.99 each at Pinehurst Coins. Those are spanking new 2024 Silver Eagles. And PCE comes out on target. 0.3 versus 0.3 month over month. All right, I still have my caution light on, my nibble nibble light on. I like the prices down here closer to 30, a lot better than the prices closer to 32. I still think we could see a test of 30, and we could see it this morning. And then again, we could leave 31 in the dust and start our move back up. Uh, gold holding a little stronger than silver here, but both still look extremely bullish. And uh, I would feel free to purchase, uh, at least in smaller quantities, uh, whenever you want this morning, and the lower we go, the high, the more I will want to buy. Uh, copper prices had their run, and they've had their pullback. We have to see if they stabilize in here like all commodities. Uh, core PCE month over month, 0 0.2 uh, versus 0.2. Uh, by the way, the stock market likes it. The Dow uh, futures up 78 at the moment. So it looks like it's going to be a fair day for the stock market. We'll get that bounce after selling off rather significantly about, was it 2,000 points on the Dow we've lost in the last uh, couple weeks? We have one maple at spot at uh, bullion exchanges. Remainder of the tube also at bullion exchanges, 34.50. And if you want them beat up, you can get those at uh, BGASC, 33.57, dinged, spotted, and generally cruddy maples. Um, and then again, you could get some good ones. Uh, you know, who, who says you're going to get bad ones every time? Uh, PCE year over year, 2.7 versus 2.7, right on target. And uh, I want to see what the 10-year is doing here. Let's take a look at the 10-year. 10-year uh, virtually unchanged at 4.534. It seems to like that 4.5 number. Maybe we'll stick around there for a while. And the dollar uh, down just a little bit more at 104.55. So looks like uh, the fear is out of the market and uh, stock market wants to rally on that. And metals want to do what? What do metals do when everything's on target? Uh, up. Okay, gold up 3.30. Silver up 25. Looks like we're not going to get the retest today. So uh, if you're buying, go ahead and buy. All right, back to wherever the heck I was. <clears throat> the uh, Philharmonics, I think, are cheap. Over at Bullion Exchanges, 33.79. And the Libertads are 39.61 each, a tube, uh, 39.31 for a tube of 25 of the 23 Libertads. If you're at Bullion Exchanges, take advantage of all their spot deals, not just the one. Okay, on Costco, I said the Gold Eagle was out. I imagine this is going to go out of stock pretty fast here with uh, the market finding a bottom. All right, and moving on to junk. We still have junk at Bullion Express, 22.51. If you're buying it somewhere else, why? Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, this is a good deal on junk. And I think they have both dimes, quarters, and half dollars at that same price. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here's the discount code for bullion.com. And uh, in the 10 ounce, uh, you know, generally the 10 ounce bar category <clears throat> is going to be in the, uh, ooh, 326. Okay, these prices are better on 10 ounce bars. 326 for a random bar at Golden Eagle. I won't go through all of them, but those all look very nice. You can get a 10 ounce Scottsdale bar for $345.54 directly from Scottsdale Mint. But you can find those cheaper on eBay and cheaper still if you do the auctions on eBay. A 100 ounce bar is still 75 cents over at Bold. Uh, $2,236 for a random 100 ounce bar. 
and the best uh, ca uh, a nice cam Val cam B kilo for 99 cents over 1048.44 but wait on eBay you can get that kook again at a really good price best price on silver eagles on eBay is mr. seven hundred dollar eagle still here or did he drop his price Ooh, look okay he dropped his price 695 and free shipping uh, this is a mixed tube and looks like you might have a little tarnish on those so that's going to be about under 35 take a dollar off you'd be under 34 on uh, what I'd call circulated silver eagles let's keep going and uh, 709 from BGASC uh, random date uh, are they giving you culls here uh, US Mint 999 business strike uh, they don't give a year and they don't say they're circulated so that probably ought to be a good deal so uh, here we go um, you know 30 35 and change you'd be at 34 and change for silver eagles on eBay at this very moment uh, catch that before the price goes up and uh, that would probably be your best deal on Eagles this morning. Cheaper than anywhere else. Uh, can't beat that. I do still like Eagles. And here is Mr. 700. He is still here. But there's $15 shipping. If you want to get those backdate type 1 Eagles, this is the place to do it. Buy the tubes uh, if you want to do a, a date run of uh, Silver Eagles. These tend to appreciate over time. No, not at your LCS, but in the aftermarket, the backdates. Uh, a lot of people do date runs of Silver Eagles, and uh, people are having success with this particular seller, but you buy what you want. Uh, in the maple category, we can get maples for $8.75 divided by $25, $8.75 divided by $25, times .97 if you have one of the two credit cards I recommend. We'll get to those in a minute. $33.95 on maples out the door. Okay, and uh, Britannia's, uh, let's see, 868. I don't know if 850 is actually real. Yeah, 850 is real, uh, so that would be uh, 850 divided by 25, 850 divided by 25 times 0.97 for Britannia's is, ooh, 3298 for Britannia's. And that is a modern roll and probably be just fine coming from CJ's Coins. I like that deal. Okay, let's uh, keep going here. And uh, ooh, I won't get stuck there. Uh, here is, oh, I, I brought Libertods into the mix here. If you're looking for a tube of 25 Libertods, 974 is what you can get the 23 Eagles. And that is uh, about 39, 39 and change. 38 and change, <clears throat> no, uh, oh, let's do the math. Slow down, Louie, 974, want to go buy something. 974 divided by 25 times 0.97. What's your per coin price on Libertad's? Ooh, 37.39, 37 37.79. And those are brand new Libertad's. I liked them better when they were 30, but you know, we are where we are gotta buy stuff uh, at the right time okay and the kilo kook is back at 1075 and let's see what the condition of this kilo kook is uh, decent seller good feedback kilo kook um, I don't know what you think of that image but uh, yeah it looks uh, capsule looks a little bit scratched on that one so you might have to spring 20 bucks for a new capsule sensational deal uh, 2012 uh, anyway the point here is that for a little more than a kilo bar you can get a kilo kook and I got a couple of those a while ago not from this seller and oh here's a nice one at 1085 is that the uh, 2015 very very nice 2015 so the price of the kilo kooks has come down quite a bit there Wow, yeah, you have to pay uh, 1140 uh, at AppMex, but uh, as cheap as 1075, get yourself a new capsule. Anyway, if you're interested in that. All right, I suspect the best price for 100 ounce rounds, uh, 100 ounce of one ounce rounds, is going to be on eBay 3250. You'd be at around 3150 after rebate, and that would be around spot this morning. 
All right, I won't go through everything else. We've got Johnson Matthew bars, 100 ounce bars, uh, tubes of BU Peace dollars, tubes of Morgan dollars. Your cheapest platinum coin this morning is going to be 1,070. Ooh, and it looks like a platinum maple um, from Croatia. Wait a minute here. Well, I don't know if you want to buy from Croatia with a zero feedback seller. Uh, let me move on. Okay, oh, I forgot about the gold. Okay, uh, let's go right to the, uh, oh man, I don't know. Let's see, let's do the quarter ounce gold. Uh, cheapest quarter ounce gold is going to be the wild Canadian horse. 615, take about 20 bucks off. You'd be under 600 on a quarter ounce gold this morning. That would be... 2400 melt, a little under 2400 melt. And if you're looking for a gold maple, 628. And what do we have here? Do we have a U.S. mint gold coin? Come on, U.S. mint. Always the most expensive of the bunch. But we will find one. There's kangaroo for 652. Hey, that rhymed. Okay, come on, gold eagle. Gold Eagle, Gold Eagle, here it is, okay, 660. So uh, 660, you would take 3% off, would be about uh, 25 off, uh, you'd be at 645 for a quarter ounce Gold Eagle, and uh, you know it was higher, it was higher up there at the Bullion Dealers. And uh, one ounce Gold, cheapest one ounce Gold is going to be uh, I don't believe that seller is going to be the Krugerrand at 2421 and uh, about $75 off would take you back to around spot for Krugerrand. And for the Gold Maple 2426, about $75 off, about $23.50 on a Gold Maple. Very nice on eBay. And uh, let's see, you know there are commemoratives here, the less than a little less than a quarter ounce of gold commemoratives, always a good buy. Um, but um, you know, buy them when they're cheap. Okay, the Helvetia coin is selling for four sixty-three. I think that might have been cheaper up at uh, in the uh, proper uh, bullion dealers. Okay, St. Gaudens, etc. What do we have in my store? Lots of good stuff in my store. Ask me for a friend discount if you would like one. And uh, here's a Sigma verifier. Always good to have different sponsors of the uh, channel if you'd like to protect and prepare for what comes next. Well, PCE is over, and it uh, looks like it did not royal the markets. Yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, got to press refresh. And silver up 22, down, well, not up 25 any longer. Okay, what else do we have? Now, um, news and the credit cards. American Express is a good choice, 3% off everywhere. Um, including eBay, if you check out through PayPal, and also works at the grocery store and works on Amazon if you do a lot of shopping there. News on the PayPal credit card is that uh, still 3% off on um, eBay, okay, which is the card I recommend the most. So that's going to work all the time. It has been 2% off everywhere else. Uh, which has made it my go-to card, but they're dropping the 2% everywhere to 1.5% everywhere. That is what is going on um, with the PayPal card. Not the worst news in the world, so um, you know I have the Amex and the PayPal credit card, so I will use the Amex card uh, everywhere I shop for the 3% back. Sometimes it turns into one, so you got to be careful about the type of retailer you shop with there, but I'll have the Amex card and I'll have the PayPal credit card um, for uh, you know different situations, okay? And the Amex card can be good because sometimes you get these 10% kicker deals, like if you like to go out to a restaurant or a bar and blow a bunch of money, and sometimes you get like 10% back when you use this blue cash every day. It's not the other one, it's the blue cash every day one. Check those out if you don't have them yet. And in regard to, um, uh, let's see, I'll get on to the Costco, um, the, uh, uh, the, 
<laughs> my brain just went dead. Uh, I'll hit it when I hit it. Uh, I got to I got to wrap up here pretty quick. But uh, this is a really great deal over at JM Bullion. Get the f entire family of Germania mint bars at a couple bucks over spot before spot runs away on you. You just get the whole smear there and uh, all good deals on any size you want. Uh, the one ounce would be the one I'd buy if it was the same premium as all the others. But they're all beautiful, they're all shrink wrapped, they come in cardboard boxes. And uh, 20 of these is something you definitely probably would like in your stack. So uh, check that out. I won't go through the rest of them. Uh, what is the Geiger cast kilo, uh, cast 10 ounce going for? 357.50. Okay, I want to keep going here. Uh, lots of good stuff. You'll find it all on the website. The one ounce Luna is back. It's going to be 30, oh, 36.63, a little cheaper this morning on the one ounce Luna. I doubt they have a ton of these. Uh, they must have got a fresh shipment in from uh, US Mint. Uh, I mean, from the uh, Royal British Mint. Do they have 999 of them? Okay, they do. So they have a bunch. But those, those are going to go out of stock again. Oh, First Majestic. Um, there is a deal from First Majestic. Um, oh, crud. I got it in my email, and I might have to send it out as an alert, but uh, I think they dropped the price on First Majestic. First Mint Bars. Uh, I'll see if I can find that for you guys. And in the one-ounce round category, um, let's see if these elementals are still cheap. About... Uh, 32.50 each for elemental one ounce rounds by the tube. And uh, in the any condition category, 32.50, I'd get the new ones over the old ones. And in the not so attractive coin cat round category, 33, no, those are more expensive. Uh, one ounce rounds uh, look like premiums coming up a little bit. Okay, you can support my work at newretirement.com. You're going to want that retirement calculator, I guarantee it. Thank you for the cups of coffee. I do appreciate that as well. Moving on past Amazon, um, Walmart Capital One card. Okay, for those of you that really dig the Walmart deals and the Capital One 5% cash back card, uh, Walmart is apparently in some kind of a dispute with um, Capital One and it uh, looks like they're getting ready to pull the plug. They want to replace them with their own credit card, which I guess they bought interest in a credit card company or something. Walmart loves to just gobble up everything, you know. But uh, I would expect this Walmart 5% back card to disappear in the near future and be replaced with a 3% cash back card. I don't know for sure. That's just I'm trying to read the writings on the wall. Uh, you can check the link to the story uh, in the chat room. Uh, so uh, see us over there in the chat room on the website to find out more about that. But it is still working at the moment. You may want to make hay with that while the sun shines. And uh, if you do do that, just make sure they properly apply your state's sales tax, tax rules before you click buy. And uh, still works at the moment. A lot of good deals over there. But uh, it can be a little glitchy. Walmart can be a little glitchy. All Any, any deals at Walmart, you never quite know if they're really going to go through. Um, but the 5% card does work religiously. Some of the kicker deals sometimes don't work. And sometimes Walmart will cancel your order. And people complain about getting charged sales tax when they should not. So uh, that's what's going on there in the pre-markets. Is there joy in Mudville? We got the Dow up 88. We got the S&P up 14 and the NASDAQ up 38 and back in the metals category. So did we hang on? We've got gold at 23.52, good price. And silver, oh, it's making a move, guys. Would love to see silver make a move. We could have had our retest last night. It could have been last night. They do that in the aftermarkets and pre-markets. But it uh, looks like today is going to be a good day. All right, that's all I have for you. Let me know what you're doing. Before you leave, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I love the growing community. It's growing huge, and you guys are looking out for each other and seeing all of the great deals and alerting each other, alerting me. I'll alert you. I got your emails. If you're on my website and subscribed, uh, nearly 550 people, um, you know, getting those alerts and, uh, you know, um, in the chat room and uh, on the channel here. So let's 
Let's find some good deals. Okay, that's all we're doing here. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the subscription. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.